Hey everybody in the Hacker's Paradise, I'm here with uh, my compression board, doing my second day of uh, testing here on the range. Uh, so again, I will be using an 8-iron for, uh, for today's practice. It started up at the pro level, so about three inches behind. The so as you can tell here from the board, I'm still coming down and on the inside here. So definitely shows you where you're consistently, uh, you know, missing it out. That was better. I picked that one uh, fairly clean there. degree wedge level four seeing if I can just hit a nice little 50 yard lob shot all right got it at level four there even though my divot actually still started back at about the one so no contact with the board but divot still three inches behind I'm going to try to move the ball a little bit more back in my stance and see what that does. Still three inches behind the ball or so, but moving it, the uh, moving the ball back in my stance did help with uh, making a little bit better contact. I'm going to try it on level one now with the ball in the back of my stance. Actually caught the board on the way back and the way through that time. All right, just wrapped up another uh, 15 minutes or so of videoing and using the compression board. And uh, similar to my first day out here with it, uh, about the same impression. I'm still making good contact on balls even when I hit behind the ball, I mean, as you can tell from the board here, uh, quite a few scuffs right behind the uh, you know, alignment there with the ball if you're coming through. So uh, fairly consistent on hitting in the same spot at least. And uh, for those that didn't get to see the picture, there's about the, uh, I think it's an eighth of an inch, the width of the board. Uh, about 11 inches wide and I think somebody said 18 or 19 inches tall. So thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another uh, review of the board. Thank you.